All right, guys, welcome back. So I've uh, done a little bit of limiting on most of the elements in here. Um, I've abstained from doing any limiting on my bass sounds so far because I haven't really processed them yet. And it wouldn't make much sense to limit them until I know what they're going to sound like fully. So right now, um, let's let's get some more percussion going on in here. Uh, we have these hi-hats that I want to layer up because if you listen to them they sound good but they're mostly in the high register and I want to get like a deeper sounding hi-hat that does the same thing um, just to fill up more space. Let's take a look in here. Okay, I think that last one will work pretty well. Let's create a new track. And let's go ahead and unwarp it. And let's clip out the pieces we need. Okay, and then maybe you get this guy right here for a tiny bit of variation. Okay, so we have the strong hi hat first, and then the weaker one. So we got we need to make sure that we do that. Okay, it's a bit loud. Let's turn that down. Okay, already we can hear how well they work together. So this is definitely gonna make our hi-hat sound a little bit better. And the last thing we need to do is grab this one at the end here for the open hi-hat sound. Now this does hit with a bass drum, but that can be easily enough fixed by just grabbing an EQ and bringing it up a little bit. And in comparison to this hi-hat, this one might be a little loud, so I'm going to just drag the clip gain down a little bit. Okay. Let's just duplicate this. Still maybe a little loud. Okay. So let's make that happen for the whole part. And now one thing we can try is maybe even separating these a little bit um, in terms of pan. So if I bring this one maybe to the left, bring this one to the right, get a little bit more of a stereo sound happening.
All right, that opens up our percussion quite a bit, actually. So that's sounding nice. We might fine tune that a little later. Um, but for now, let's see if we can get a little bit more of um, some layers for our, our breaks here. Let's create a new track. Check out our breaks folder. Might not want to use any of these. Okay, some of those might be good for some fills, but I don't know if necessarily for just a straight up layer. Okay, we might be able to use some of this. Now we may or may not want to use the kick drum on this part, but we'll see. So uh, we definitely want to drag this down a little bit. And we're going to want to high pass it a little more. And we may also want to shelve it just a little bit in the high end so that it's not quite as noticeable.
Okay, I think I'm gonna try without the bass drum, kick drum. Okay, let's go ahead and just repeat this. Now one thing we can do is save this to add in for the second half of uh, this part or the drop or wherever, just to add in a little bit of subtle variation. Um, or we may just keep it as a layer going throughout the whole thing. That's a decision we can make later. Right now we just wanna make sure that it sounds good. Okay, it's definitely conflicting a little bit in the spectrum here, and I think mostly in the mids. So let's take a listen. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna notch out the mids a little bit and uh, see if that helps. That definitely helps a little bit. We may just want to change up the pattern though. So as you can see, I'm sort of matching what's happening up here in the first breaks to this down here. Because I feel like part of the problem may be that the pattern is just conflicting. There's, there's some light snare hits on this break pattern where there aren't any or are only hi-hats up here on this break. So let's try this pattern and see if this sounds any better.
Okay, I haven't listened to it in headphones yet. I'm sure I'll have to do that in order to make my final decision, but so far, uh, I think that definitely adds a little bit more depth and fills out the spectrum a lot nicer. So we're gonna keep that for now. I may even bring this back up a little bit and then high pass it a little more. But yeah, that sounded pretty good. So I'll have to paste this into the drop as well and see how that works. But so far, I'm pretty happy with the progression. Um, next, what we're going to want to do is maybe add in a little bit more of an interesting rhythm, um, change it up a little bit, put some fills in. And then afterwards, we'll start working on the bases, get them processed, you know, uh, run them through some distortion, uh, do some compression work. And we'll see how that goes. So I'll do all that stuff on the next episode. See you then.